Hello everyone, Chuck Northside Guy, continuing the journey of 1933 Gowdy. Today we're featuring five more low number commons. First up is Glenn Myatt, and uh, not much to say, uh, definitely a common player, uh, played for the Indians in 1933. Uh, here you see him in a PSA 5, Glenn Myatt. Next up, and I'm sure I'm going to mangle the uh, last name here. Is it Billy Billy Rogel? Re Billy Rogel? Well, Billy, let's just call him Billy, uh, played shortstop for the Tigers and was paired up with uh, a famous uh, double play partner, Charlie Geringer, who we've seen in an earlier video, video of mine. It was one of the best uh, combinations of shortstop, second base. In 1933, but batted uh, 295, had 44 doubles, 11 triples, and had a 381 on base uh, percentage that season. In 1934, uh, Billy was leadoff in front of four future Hall of Famers for the Tigers, <clears throat> Mickey Cochran, Charlie Geringer, Hank Greenberg, as well as Goose Goslin. With the exception of Hank Greenberg, I've had videos of all the other player cards featured in the 1933 Gowdy set. Uh, Billy appeared uh, as the uh, guy uh, who threw a baseball and a double play combination um, straight into the skull of Dizzy Dean. And the ball ricocheted off of Dean's head and landed uh, about 100 feet away, so it really hit him hard. And Dean, uh, known for his quick wit, uh, said that the doctors x-rayed my, my head and found nothing. I'm sure you've heard that story before. Uh, so anyway, uh, that was a famous moment where Billy appears in baseball history. After he retired, Billy served for uh, 36 years as a member of the Detroit City Council, and he was the chairman of the committee that uh, built the airport that is still uh, Detroit's main airport today. So that's Billy for you. Nice PSA 5 there. These low numbers um, are really hard to get in the higher grades. Uh, I'm not sure why. I think they're some of the most classic images of the 1933 Gaudi. I love that red banner across the bottom. The colors really pop. Um, if you're going to pick up a, a card or two from the 33 Gaudi set just to have one, I highly recommend that you get a, a low number and one with that banner. Next up is George Pipgrass. Uh, George, uh, in 1933, was a pitcher for the New York Yankees, and he was known as the Danish Viking. And he uh, famously was a part of the, a starter in the rotation um, uh, in the 1927 Yankees team, which, of course, was uh, legendary. After his uh, kind of mediocre career, he had a 4.09 uh, career ERA, 714 strikeouts, 102 wins, 73 losses. Uh, George was an American League umpire, and uh, he was actually the umpire in the game where uh, Babe Ruth um, called, had the called shot. So a uh, bit of fun there. Actually, is that right? No, he started in the game that uh, included Babe Ruth uh, calling his shot. Sorry, my notes are pretty rough there. Next up is Lafayette Thompson. Love this card. Classic image that you see in the 1933 set. And uh, what can we say about this guy? Well, he was a football teammate at Columbia with Lou Gehrig in spite of only being five foot eight and 150 pounds. And, uh, you know, here he's playing as a giant. And after he retired, he uh, kept up with the Dodgers and ended up being a, a GM for the Los Angeles Dodgers. So there's Lafayette Thompson. And then finally, we have Vic Sorrell <clears throat> here in a PSA 5.5. This is actually the first P uh, Gaudi card I ever purchased. And uh, uh, what can we say about Vic? Well, he was a pitcher for the Tigers. He had 10 seasons in the major leagues, posting a final record of 92 wins, 101 losses, with a 4.43 ERA. After his career, he was the baseball coach for NC State from 1946 to 1966. So there you have it, guys. A short, sweet, lovable look at the 1933 Gaudi. Some uh, low number commons. More to come as we march through all this set and record uh, these beautiful cards on YouTube. Take care.